back to another online service. I am so glad you were able to join me this morning and I hope you had a fabulous week. This morning it's been so cold so I thought why not sit on the floor, get myself comfortable and cozy and wherever you are I hope you are warm, comfortable and cozy. But before we get into things, wherever you are, close your eyes, let us pray before we get started. Father, we thank you for this wonderful morning. We thank you for your love. We thank you for all our friends and families, our children that are viewing online. I thank you for your protection. And above all, Father God, I just ask that you continue to be with us wherever we may go. We love you and we give you all the glory and honor. Have your way in our lesson this morning in Jesus' name. And everybody says, Amen. Matthew chapter 18 verse 20 says, Where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. Before we get into our worship, the Bible says, Wherever you are, whoever is joining in, if there is one or two that gather together in the name of our Lord, there he will be among us. So let's get ready to worship our Lord this morning. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. You got your armor guy. Got, got my belt of truth check. Rest plate of righteousness. Shoes of peace. Shield of hate. Helmet of salvation. Sword of the spirit. Helmet of salvation.
there on every side I'm getting pressed in But no fear cause you know what I'm dressed in I got peace all up in these boots And this belt around my waist help me speak that truth Knowing the giants seem big and it all gets dark I got a shield of faith big enough to block those fiery darts A breastplate of righteousness guarding my heart Part of the reason I ain't falling apart uh. Yeah, yeah, I'm prepared this time Helmet of salvation to protect my mind Make the enemy feel it Sword of the spirit when I strike back Ain't no getting up this time Cause I'm standing I'm Thank you for joining us for our online activity. Let's get straight into our lessons. You have your Bibles with you. 
Turn with me to Ephesians chapter 6, verses 13 to 18. Let us read together. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 13 to 18, and it says, Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm, then with the bout of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, with your feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all flaming arrows of the evil one, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. And with this in mind, be alert and always keep praying for the people of God. Amen. Our lesson for this morning is the full armor of God. I have a little challenge for you and I this morning before we go any further. I'm going to put a timer up just for everybody to see. And my challenge for us this morning is we're going to look for anything in your house, whatever is in your house. We're going to find items and put together the armor of God. So we're going to look for items for the belt of truth. Yes. Now we're going to look for another outer item for the breastplate of righteousness. Your feet fitted with readiness. We're going to look for something for the shield of faith. Your helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. Let's go. Fitted with readiness of the 
gospel of peace. I have my helmet of salvation right here. My shield of faith. And sword of the spirit. I hope that you have had time to get together your pieces and items from your household to create your own armor of God. I have some friends that are going to join me this morning to explain a little bit more of the full armor of God. Let's go! Timmy, what are you doing? You're supposed to be dressed as a prince. I decided that dressing up in God's armor was way cooler. You're not dressed in God's armor. Yes, I am. Check the facts, right here in the book of Ephesians. The Bible told me to put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in a time of evil. Well, it also says here that you should be wearing the belt of truth because God's truth sets you free from the lies of the enemy. Are you calling my belt a liar? No, but I do think you might be in the wrong outfit. To be honest, I didn't read past the first verse. What else does Ephesians say? Let's see. Ephesians 6.15 says to wear the breastplate of righteousness. Yes, I've got that right here. That's just a normal breastplate. The one you need helps us choose what is right and protects your heart from sin. Mine's no good then. Keep reading. All right. Next up, we have the shoes of the gospel of peace. They help you not to fear or worry about the things going on around you and share God's peace with others. Well, well, well. Would you look at this? No peace in these kicks. <laughs> it smells like fear in there to me. What about my shield? It has to be right. Can it strengthen you to believe only in God like the shield of faith from Ephesians? Probably. And can it stand up to the lies and bad thoughts the enemy might shoot at it? That depends. Can plastic defend me against evil? I don't think so. Aw, oh, man. I'm in big trouble. You might as well tell me the rest. All we have left to check off are the Helmet of Salvation and the Sword of the Spirit. The Helmet of Salvo what? I said the Helmet of Salvation. It means this helmet can protect your mind and help you to only think about God. Oh, I get it. So, what about the sword? Is it a super awesome, dangerous sword? Here's your sword. No, silly goose. This is a B-I-B-L-E, Bible. I wanted a sword. Well, the sword of the Spirit is actually God's word. When you speak the words of the Bible, it can cut the lies of the enemy like a sword. I don't think I'm going to have enough allowance money to spend on all these fancy Jesus clothes. These aren't physical pieces of armor, Timmy. If you pray, read the Bible, and have Jesus in your heart, you will always be dressed in God's armor. So I'm not fighting in an actual battle? Oh, it's real, all right. But we can't see the spiritual war going on right now. But we can protect our hearts and minds from fear or doubt with the armor of God. Wow. Thanks for all your help. I'm ready for battle now. Thank you to our friends that were able to explain the armor of God for you and I. Now this morning, thank you for those who joined me in our challenge. And you could see just the silly combination and bizarre combinations we put together to create an image of the armor of God. But our friends explained to us this morning that it's not the physical armor that we are talking about. We're talking about the spiritual armor of God that you and I can wear every single day. This armor of God can protect you any time of the day, wherever you may be, whatever situation you are going through, this armor of God can help you. Now, I have a little object demonstration for us this morning. I have here a cup of water. Now the armor of God tells us that the belt of truth helps us to know God's truth by reading his word. So that when anyone tries or the devil tries to tell you lies, you are able to attack 
because you know the truth by reading God's word. The breastplate of righteousness that we put on every single day will protect your heart, will protect my heart. Feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace in our walk every single day. We are able to stand in peace and share the good news and share peace and love with everyone around us. The helmet of salvation. Take up the shield of faith. The shield of faith will help us to defend ourselves from flaming arrows, the Bible says. Anything that the devil may try to throw at us, we are able to defend ourselves with the shield of faith. We must have faith in God. When you have God in our hearts, when we have Jesus in our hearts, and when we read the word of God, our shield of faith, regardless of what we go through, regardless of what people may tell us, we are able to defend ourselves with the shield of faith. The sword of the spirit that the Bible is talking about is the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E, not a physical sword, but the sword of the spirit is the word of God. Now, for this morning using our glass, I have an orange here that has already been peeled. An orange. Now this orange represents somebody who does not have the armor of God, who does not wear the armor of God, who does not walk with the armor of God every single day. Let's see what happens. An orange that is already peeled represents somebody that does not have the armor of God. We see that this orange sunk right down to the bottom. Okay, now next, I have another glass of water. Another glass of water right in front of me. And now this time, I have another orange that hasn't yet been peeled. Now this orange represents a person that wears the armor of God every single day, uses the armor of God every single day. Whenever the devil tries to steal, kill and destroy, they use the armor of God to protect them by reading the word of God, by praying every single day, by seeking God's face every single day. So this orange represents someone who wears the armor of God. This orange right here is floating right at the top. So remember, every single day, you and I must always put on the full armor of God. Not a physical one. You wouldn't want to be wearing the challenge that you were wearing just this morning. Always wear the full armor of God from head to to turn. We are able to withstand. We are able to flow. The person that wears the full armor of God and the person that does not have the armor of God. But my encouragement is that we continue to wear the full armor of God. Not the physical, but the spiritual armor of God can be worn any time of the day with anything and wherever you go. Thank you for joining us this morning for a lesson of the full armor of God. Thank you once again for joining us online for our lesson, the full armor of God. Continue to stay safe, stay connected, and stay blessed. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for this time that we're able to spend together 
online as a ministry. I pray, God, that your children and their families, myself and my family, wherever we may be and wherever we may go, that we continue to put on the full armor of God so that when the day comes, we are able to protect ourselves from the work of the devil that's trying to steal, kill, and destroy. And we thank you for the life that you give us, and we thank you for the gift of the full armor of God. We love you, and we praise you in Jesus' name. Everybody says, Amen. Thank you for joining us. Now remember, God is good, God loves you, and you are God's children. Ciao for now!